Okay, so well, my uh, camera cut off on me, so I had to plug it up. So the thought I was on was, I was listening to this one brother. He said, "There's no spiritual world," um, and I do agree that because this is the place where light will, well, all of us who are called and chosen and shall uh, be found worthy to enter into that next world of everlasting. This is where it's going to happen at. He said, as thy will be on earth as it is in heaven. This is where the new Jerusalem is coming down to here. When, and that just means that the old way, all the evil things, the works of the flesh will no longer exist there. Nothing but truth, light, righteousness will live on the earth at that time, forever. So as the brother said, there is no spiritual, and I don't want to take words out of his mouth, but he appears he said, there is no spiritual um, world. So if that's the case, he said, my words are spirit and they are truth. Abba is a spirit, and those who worship him shall worship him in spirit and in truth. And some say, well, the spirit is just the, the breath of life. It's just, uh, but he also says, I go away, as Yahushua said, and I prepare a place for you. If it were not so, I would not have told you. In, my, in Abba's house, there are many mansions. So he's not talking about the mansions that we know. He, he has new glorified bodies prepared to house the spirit and the soul once, uh, that's not going to be in this corruptible. So once the, once the incorrupted, corruptible put on, when the corruptible put, corruptible put on incorruption, that's what he's going to give us those new glorified bodies. Those who, like, like uh, Yahushua had when he came back. He said, don't, he said, touch me not, I've not ascended to the Father. But that, that body could eat if it wanted to. It could walk through walls, it could change uh, from one appearance to another. It could appear in a room and disappear out of the room, walk through a wall. It could do all of these things, it, it ascend and descend. Then also, what did all these Spirits that everybody's talking about, and that people have seen and experienced, and, and you, and, and when, and sometime when you, at some time in your life, I know if you had the, the experience when you're not even thinking about nothing at all, then you can just feel a presence. Sometimes you just get a good presence, and then sometimes you get such an evil presence, you like shiver, like what's going on? But there's no spiritual world, according to him. So that was a thought on that. He said, he is the, the Elo, the father of spirits. If I'm not correct, I believe that's the scripture that says that. He said, he's the father of spirits. Look that up when you get a chance and, and see. Romans 2, 1 through 5. Therefore, thou art an excusable old man, whosoever thou art that judges. For when thou judges another, thou commandest thyself, thou condemneth thyself. For thou that judges does the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of Abba, Yahuwah, is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinketh thou this, O man, that judges them which do such things, and does the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of Yahuwah? Or despises thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of Yahuwah leadeth thee to repentance. That's what I'm saying. He's this thing that's going on right now, as we chosen in the fires of affliction, he's leading us to repentance if you accept it. It's a good thing that's happening. He's, he's allowing he's allowing us to get to a point to where our sins will go before us and be judged. But those who are doing these evil things and thinking they're okay, and thinking that, wow, you know, I got the system behind me they give me the good stuff man I'm, I'm okay man they gonna be all right with me you know not i know that the devil don't love nobody once he's done with you he's gonna kill you <laughs> and you're not gonna have no protection because i was 
I was not going to protect you because you done signed up with the wrong team. You can't play, for example, you can't play for the Dallas Cowboys uh, and, the, and the Texans in the game on the field and then when the and when you're winning, you're, on the t you're playing for the Texans. And then at, near the end of the game, when the game is running out, you're going to run to the other side and, and say you're on that team, but you still got on the all uniform. They ain't going to work. They ain't not going to accept you. And think it about this, old man, that judges them which do the same, same things, such things, and does the same that thou shalt escape the judgment of Yahuwah. Despises thou the riches of the goodness and the forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of Yahuwah leadeth thee to repentance, but after thy hardness and imp impotent heart treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of righteousness and judgment of Yahuwah. So Yahuwah, he, Abba is sitting back watching everything that's going on. He's not quick to move, but he's taking note. And just because you think you getting away, consider First Timothy five twenty four. Some men's sins are open beforehand, before beforehand. Some men's sins are open beforehand, going before to judgment, and some men they follow after. Shalom.